start, we're going to go through just the things that you need to make this. And you just need a measuring cup. And I just have the one cup because that's all you're going to need. You also need just a spoon or a fork or a spatula to mix it all together and put it into containers. As well, you're going to need just a plastic container or bowl to mix up the lotions in. You don't really want to make this in anything that you eat out of, but so that's why I'm just using a plastic Tupperware container. Wash it and use it again later. All right, the first lotion you're gonna need is vitamin E cream. Now, this stuff is full of amazing things for your skin. It has, ooh, has all this crazy stuff in it to help your skin look flawless and younger and even. This brand is Fruit of the Earth and I get it in a two pack at Walmart like so for just a couple of dollars and you'll need both of these tubs to make one batch. The next thing you are going to need is some Johnson's Baby Lotion. We got the Shea and Cocoa Butter um, variety which you can get any of the uh, flavors or unscented or whatever you feel like using but you need to get one that's bigger this is 27 fluid ounces and you're gonna need 16 fluid ounces this is also paraben free and hypoallergenic because it's for babies but it is really good on your skin and it smells really yummy also it's kind of nice to get this because if you just dump out the rest of the lotion that comes in this into a different container you can put the lotion you just made into this one so you have a pump or if you just have a different container that you want to put it in that's fine as well the third and last ingredient you need is coconut oil this one is 28 fluid ounces and i picked it up at walmart but you only need eight ounces or one cup of this as well this is just naturally refined organic coconut oil you can get any kind that you see fit or have at your grocery store so it doesn't really have to be specific to a certain type of coconut oil but this is really hydrating for your skin if you know anything about coconut oil it's really good for hydrating and moisturizing your hair your skin and everything Okay, we have put both little jars of the vitamin E cream into our plastic container. And you also can keep these little containers to put your lotion back into as well. You can just wipe out the excess that I couldn't get out with a spoon and use these. All right, the next thing you want to do is take a cup of the coconut oil and put it in your measuring cup and put it in the bowl. <music> we're gonna take the pump off and get two cups of this into here before we mix it all up time to stir all of these lotions together now it looks like a lot of lotion because it is um normally i normally my mom makes this but we usually share it and i'll get a container and she'll get a container so give it to a friend give it to your mom hog it all for yourself i don't care but just as a warning it does make quite a large amount Now, as you can see, it's kind of chunky because of the coconut oil. It hasn't really melted yet or gotten to room temperature. So I'm going to put it in the microwave 
for not very long to see if I can soften up the coconut oil just a little bit to make it a little smoother. Alrighty, so this is the consistency you want it to get, kind of whipped and nice and fluffy. I also switched to a fork because it kind of got the, kind of acted as a whisk and got the little chunks out a lot better. So now we're going to move and put it into our containers. both of these containers with the lotion and you also as an option can fill cute containers as the gifts or just so they look more aesthetically I don't think I said that right anyways you know I'm trying to say pleasing to your bathroom or home very chic these are just like dollar jars from Target and I'm gonna fill this with some lotion as well <laughs> 